it's Christy and I'm here with an unboxing for an Operation Christmas Child box. This is for a girl two to four. I'm going to stand up and do it but before I stand up I just want to tell you now is a great time to join our Facebook group. It's Blessings in a Shoe Box and you'll want to check it out because we're doing a drawing right now, another one, and it's really fun because we're talking about little gems. We've just reached to 300 members and so we wanted to do something fun to celebrate. So if you want to participate in that, I recommend going on Facebook and joining our group. There's only, I think, three questions that you need to answer in order to join. Um, and also go on blessingsinissuebox.com, our website, so you can see all the great things that Michelle has been doing on there. She has a whole page on the Plush Fillers Project. You'll want to check that out and put in your information of how many plush fillers you want to send. And then there are a lot of specific um, links for shoebox ideas that you could find online if you're interested in those. So lots of videos, there's just so much. I can't even imagine, if you haven't been on there, you are missing out. The um, There are no ads, it's really clean looking. She's done a beautiful job with the graphics and I just hope you'll check out blessingsinissuebox.com. I have, um, this is the, Operation Christmas Child cardboard box. And I'm gonna take, I took the rubber band off and now I'm gonna stand up and uh, change the camera and you'll be able to see what's inside. Okay, here we go inside. This is what she'll see if they don't change it too much at the processing center. I, first of all, I'll just take out this backpack. It's one of the pink ones that they have at Dollar Tree. I love the ones that have the little zipper pocket and I've included that for her to take her things home. Christy Graham is the one that got us really excited about putting things in like bags or totes or backpacks so that the children, may, it'll be easier for the children to take their things home. And of course here, her wow item. So cute, I love the Cabbage Patch doll and she has one of the blankets that Michelle sent me and she made, she serged the edges and I wrapped her up. And if you haven't seen her, I got her on Amazon, watch for her to go on a deal. She's on, it has like a little sleeping bag. Um, so she's already wrapped, she it has this little hood. She's just so cute. So I'm excited to send her to a child in this shoebox, a little girl. Here's, here's the Cabbage Patch Dolls little friend. I wanted to put a plush in there. In fact, I'll show you. I had this one ready. I thought that was great. Here they are side by side, but it was just a smidge too big. So I went with the smaller plush and that's another reason to have extra plush on hand when you're making shoe boxes and extra items on hand so you can grab different ones for a shoe box that might be a little bit tight. This is her dress that Michelle made. If you haven't seen, there's an older video where I unpacked some gifts from Michelle and she sent me several of these dresses. They're made out of t-shirts and then the bottom is a cotton fabric. You can see how beautiful it is. So she can just slip it over her head. And I think it's gonna be really appropriate for all cultures. So thank you, Michelle, for making those for me. Here's another thing that Michelle made, these little rattles with a little ribbon on the side, very soft, soft. I think it's flannel. And it, it, what's great about it is it's a little gem because it just smushes down to nothing practically. Um, and it can fit in those nooks and crannies. Her, here's her cup from Ikea, a pretty pair of socks with those cute rainbow stripes on them, and a yellow ball. Um, this is her, oh, I said that, a pink cup from Ikea. I love the pink ones. Those are my favorite, but you have to buy them in multiples of different colors. This is her pencil sharpener. It's just loose in here. It's easier to just sometimes unpack some things like in the pencil pouch um, to, so they don't waste room. This is 
her crayons. They're oil pastels and they're really sturdy. They don't uh, melt in high heat, even though they're called oil pastels. And they don't roll on a table because they have like these um, squared off sections. So that those are a little smaller than the ones I have been using again, so that I could have more room. There's, an, there's a, this puzzle here that takes up more room than some toys do. Here's her dancing ribbon ring. Michelle made those too. And her pink spoon to match her cup. She has a cute little hair clip that's a bow. She can attach it to her dress or her backpack um, or her hair. Oh, this is fun. This is the first time I've done the peg dolls. I ordered them from a bigger lot in Amazon. So I have multiple colors, all different colors of these. So I chose the orange and it's just a fun peg doll for her to play pretend with. Here's her organza bag, small organza bag with two panties in it. And these are her cartwheel shorts that match her dress. And she has this little uh, bracelet, coil bracelet. Those are really fun. Her yellow wooden car. I think once you get everything out of this box, it really coordinates beautifully because the wooden toy, this is a flying disc that holds up. The main uh, toy that's big is all different colors. So it helps bring everything together. So this is a rainbow puzzle and it's made out of wood. It was a gift and it could, could just go together like this or you can stack the pieces. So this will be fun for her to play with. She could make a tunnel. She could stack them like on top of each other. So I'm really, really, really thrilled. I got two of these donated. So I'm really, really thrilled to be able to use those. And then she has one marker. I try to send a marker. It's a nice little gem to fit in the shoe boxes for the child to play with and her covered toothbrush. I'm down to the flat things now. Her composition book, it has lined paper in it for her to practice writing. And she has a nice little tote here to put some special things in. And a bandana that's lavender, so it matches the cabbage patch really cute. And here's her pencil pouch and I just did the best I could to make it completely flat. I took the pencil sharpener out and she has um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pencils and a pair of yellow scissors. She has a, a six inch ruler that's wooden. She has a rainbow eraser to go with her toy and a plain white eraser and um, all her pencils are sharpened and ready to go. This is her toddler pencil that I'm sending. It's a Laddie tri -right. So it's um, special for little hands. And then, am I done? Nope. There's a washcloth, like a, uh, I guess it's a peach color. And her lovey that Michelle made so beautiful and soft with minky fabric and the satin ribbon. Oh, here's her pink comb. And last but not least, what are these? Well, let's see, this one is blank paper. And you guys know if you've watched many of my videos that I loved being able to draw in um, blank on blank paper when I was growing up. So. I had that cover and I just put the white paper in and this one is a coloring book and you can find these printables on blessings in shoebox.com and print your own. She has a lot of printables available for different age coloring books and activities, dot to dots and mazes, some for the older children. So these are really nice to print out. And then I put the cover on cardstock and used a long reach stapler. And on the back, it has God loves you in many different languages. 
so that brings us to the end of this shoe box. Um, I really hope that you guys are starting to move forward on uh, making a lot of shoe boxes and gathering your fillers because we have a feeling that this year we might be a little bit short on both. Hopefully this video inspired you and the ultimate um, for me would be to know that this little girl who got this shoe box and this cute little cabbage patch doll would really feel the love of Jesus when she opens her box and that she will respond to the gospel when it's given at the event and that she would receive Jesus Christ as her savior. I hope that's why you're sending shoe boxes and I pray God's blessing upon you. Bye for now.